Hello everyone, I'm Lai Ren Cao. Today I will present a brief announcement. Improve work span trade-off for single source rigidity and approximate shortest pass. This is a joint work with Jeremy Feynman and Katina Russia. Before the formal talk, I want to remove the second part of the paper in this talk and only focus on improve work span trade-off for single source rigidity problem. For single source rigidity problem, we are giving a directly graph and the source node S. We want to get all vertices which can be reached by S. In this example graph, there are seven nodes which can be reached by S, including S itself. Next, I want to show you the improvement for work span trade-off of our paper. There are two previous papers talking about work span trade-off. I'm and Yanakaki 91, Spencer's 97. I have listed all results in table one but it might be a little hard to compare this result directly. So I have highlighted a concrete example. When the span is order n to one quarter and the graph density is middle, here m is about n to 1.5, then m and Yankaki 91 has to take order n to 2.25 work, and Spencer's 97 has to take order n to 2.5 work, while our results only to take and to 2 plus order 1. Here order 1 is a small number which is smaller than any constant. And in other graph case, our result is almost no worse than previous result. Now let's take an overview of the approach. In the sequential setting, one of the good algorithms for single source repeated problem is breadth first search. So in the parallel setting, can we just extend BFS the answer is yes. Actually, the parallel BFS is good in some cases. In more details, giving a graph with diameter at most edge. Here, diameter at most edge implies the maximum shortest path distance in the graph is at most edge. In this example graph, the diameter is 2. Then the parallel BFS can achieve order M work and order H span. Here, if the diameter h is small, then we have a good parallel algorithm. However, the problem is, for general graph, the diameter is not that small. Once we know how to solve the single source rigidity problem in low diameter graph, one of the possible solutions is that, can we design a parallel algorithm to reduce the graph diameter? The answer is yes, and the tool is shortcuts. Shortcuts is a set of edge. And if we add the shortcuts to the graph, then we will reduce the graph diameter and we do not change the graph transitive closure. In this example graph, the blue edge are the original edge in the graph and the red edge are shortcuts. Before we add the shortcuts, the graph diameter is 5 and after we add the shortcuts, then the graph diameter will be reduced to 3. For shortcut, one thing to notice is the work span trade-off. In this example graph, if we want the graph diameter to be smaller, we have to add more shortcuts. However, adding more shortcuts requires more work, so there is a trade-off between the work and span. Since in the paper, we use the shortcut to reduce graph diameter, I want to talk about some shortcut results here. Feynman 2018 showed a simple algorithm for rigidity problem and achieves n to two thirds diameter. And then Jablaputi, Liu, and Sid for 2019 showed a similar algorithm for rigidity problem and gets smaller diameter, which is n to half plus order one. And then Cao, Feynman, and Russia 2020 had an extension algorithm for approximate shortest pass problem and achieves the same diameter. One thing to notice is that all of these three paper only gets fixed work and span. Our paper is based on Cao, Feynman, and Russia 2020, and we showed a trade-off between the work and span. Our paper can achieve smaller than root and span with the cost of more work. So in the paper, we design a parallel algorithm for adding shortcuts and the graph diameter is reduced. And then we will run the parallel bridge first algorithm for single source rigidity problem. The work span trade-off comes from the shortcut size. If we want low span algorithm, 
we will add more shortcuts to the graph, and this will lead to a larger work parallel algorithm. Here is the sequential algorithm for adding shortcuts. Given a graph, we will first choose some nodes to be periods and shortcutters. In the example graph, the nodes with right cycle C and I are periods, and the nodes with green cycle C, M, I, H are shortcutters. Notice that all periods are shortcutters, and I haven't talked about how to choose periods and shortcutters. But if we choose more shortcutters, then the final diameter we get will become smaller, and the running time for the algorithm will be larger. Previous paper also have the concept of periods, but they don't use shortcutters. Then, for each shortcutter S, we will do forward and backward search. And we will add edge from its backward node set to S, and from S to its forward node set. In this example graph, C will do forward search and meet J, O, B, F, H, and add edge between these nodes. And for backward search, it will add edge from D to C, E to C. After we finish adding edge to shortcut sets, we will try to partition the graph. Precisely for each period, we will search forward and backward. And based on the relation to these periods, we will partition the graph. In the example graph, O and B are the forward direction of I and C, so it will be in one partition. And E is only the backward direction of C, so E will be on its own partition. Finally, based on these partitions, we will just remove nodes reached by one period in both directions. In this example graph, we will remove A, L, I, and C. And then, we will recurse on each partition. Here is the work span trade-off result for our paper and previous paper. In the table one, I have listed the work span trade-off for different parameter, and in the table two, I have listed some real number. Our result has a better work span trade-off when the span is between root n and some constant. As I have said. When the graph dense is middle, for example, m is nearly n to 1.5, then our result is strictly better than previous result. In summary, in the paper, we design a parallel algorithm which achieves better work span trade-off for single source repeated problem. And we also have an algorithm for parallel approximate shortest path problem. That's all. Thank you.